Okay, y'all. So let me tell you, like I said, I like to wear, I'm a little taller, I'm a little thicker, and I like to sort of show off these curvaceous curves. But on it, like on Instagram, like let me tell you, not in person. In person, you're gonna see me overdress my body. Like nobody gonna see how I'm built for my man. Listen, one thing about me, my man, he's going to know. Okay, let me stop. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't mean just no regular schmigger like that. Like, I mean my husband, the one that puts a ring on my finger. Anywho, <laughs> let me stop. Okay, so basically, um, yeah, it's sort of hard. Like a battle I'm going through right now is like, like okay, like I said, I work out. I know I look good, and sometimes you want to wear the fashion, but you know, as a woman and girl, we cover ourselves up. We like to be covered. We don't want nothing tight fitting because you don't want nobody lusting after you, you know. And I've gone through some days where I, you know, wear stuff, stuff that's a little fitting. And I tell my, I tell my sister, cry, girl, that's their problem. They looking. I can't help it. I'm built like that. Knowing dang well I could have covered up. Lord forgive me. I'm sorry. But like I said, that's a battle that you're going to go through. You know, sometimes, you know, because you're taking care of yourself, you want to look good. But remember. It's worth it for your man, and it's worth it for being a woman of God and showing that you care about yourself. And listen, if you go follow my Instagram, maybe I'll link it in the bio, I'm going to start posting cute, modest clothing, you know, cute stuff that we can wear, you know, as a Christian woman, being covered and sanctified and holy. Okay, <laughs> but that's like the first step. Okay, the second one is, um, so we went through hygiene. We're going to talk about music. So let me tell you. I, I'm a Megan the Stallion type of girl. I'm a Beyonce type of woman, you know. I'm a savage. I like Megan because she's tall. She got big old booty, you know, sort of released to me. I'm going to talk about my booty because it's me. But, um, yeah, she definitely, I like Megan. I also like SZA's song, Clear Bill. I don't know. It's something about the song. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm only human. If y'all want to bash me in the comments, bash me in the comments. But I'm being honest. I like Kill Bill. Good song. But let me tell you, I didn't realize those songs were sort of still having me not be in my woman of God area. Like, I realized today, like, I'm still just in this, forget men, yeah, I'm in my villain era, especially, y'all, let me tell you, I like listening to future super villain. Oh, but baby, baby, who need a man? Not me. Like, and that's really hindering me from being really close with God just listening to that. So y'all need to watch out for the music you listen to. You need to listen to Christian music. You hear this in the back? Hold on. Give me a second. Let's see what it's going to give us. Okay. We're listening to the whole world. I forgot who it was. But you need to start listening to your Christian albums. And they have a lot of good artists. I can give y'all my playlist. And let's go into part three. So yeah.